Hi, my name is Chase. I have been choreographing for about three years. Um, I've been with Polaris for about two, two and a half. Sensitive. Recently I took a trip down to Colombia, South America, and Mexico, and, um, and it was very spiritual for me, a lot of parts of it. And there were a lot of new people that I met that I would consider family because of what we went through together. And um, this piece is kind of exploring that and exploring how I feel coming back to the States and kind of learning how to, to keep the love alive, I guess, and to keep what I've learned alive. because it allows me to do my thing. It allows me to step away from the dancer role and instead of doing everyone else's work, I can do my own and I can express my voice. And um, I used to be a visual artist and so that's like painting and drawing and multimedia um, and expressing yourself that way and having the opportunity to express yourself with your body. Um, is so very different and it's it's very rewarding. It's definitely easier to allow yourself to come alive with your own movement and I guess go go to your most full out ability because you know what it feels like and you know what you want and you know how to take it there. Um, but when you're learning other people's stuff usually Usually as a dancer, you always hear, you know, more and more and more, I want more, do this, do that, da 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 And you've just got to work harder to, to understand what they want, you know. But if it's yours, it's, it's yours, you know it, you own it. Yeah, I think it has. I know it has. It has physically put me in contact with, with the earth. You know, and really, like, dancers these days don't usually put their feet on the ground. <laughs> I mean, not really a whole lot of people walk through the dirt on a regular basis these days. It makes me want to to communicate to people um, like how how beautiful it is like living with the earth and, and that kind of a thing and, and connecting with it and connecting with the trees and the animals around you. But but sometimes when you're, you know, you go to these beautiful places and you experience that and you're a part of, and you're a part of it and you live in it and, and then you come back to this world that's, um, you know, mostly surrounded in cement and your feet don't touch the ground and you're always walking on concrete and it's, and it's really hard to keep alive what, um, what you felt and, I try to communicate what I have felt through my choreography, but but I also find myself like getting sidetracked as I go through it, and sometimes losing um, the spirit that I felt so strongly when I was in that place. You've got to go from from comrade to leader, or you know whatever, and you've got to take charge and be the one to crack the whip and say, you know, all right guys, like let's do this, you know, and let's 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 run it five times or let's do it till you die. And sometimes you're thinking, oh God, well, you know, I remember what it's like being the dancer. And so as a choreographer you don't want to push your fellow dancers too hard because you want to try to be sensitive to what they're feeling and how their bodies are, but that's it's kind of difficult sometimes. 